Hi everyone, we're at home today and we figured we would show you guys um, our pumpkin carving for this year. Last weekend we went pumpkin picking yep. and we're gonna carve some Disney inspired um, characters, but we're not sure which ones we want to do yet. Yeah, we don't know. We haven't picked out which one each of us is going to do. Um, we'll go over some ones. We've done this in the past, but that was obviously before like we had our, our channel. Yeah. Um, so you've done like Jack Skellington, you've done the castle. I did the Cheshire Cat, Mickey. I've yeah. done a bunch of them, but we'll see what we're going to do this year. Yeah, I don't know. We'll, get, we'll like Google some images and see like what we're thinking, right? Yeah. I also don't want to do something that's like too complicated. Yeah. Because I've actually never carved the pumpkin in my life. You haven't? No, never. I've never ever carved the pumpkin. I've watched you do it. Oh, I'm, um, I'm judging you. Yeah. <laughs> what? You've never carved the pumpkin? Never carved like, the pumpkin. Like even when you were little? No. Never in my life have I carved the pumpkin. I've watched Alex do it a few years in a row, but that was really What it. did your parents do with you guys? I don't know. We that's just, weird. Yeah. Oh well. I don't tell us down below. Do you guys carve pumpkins every year, or do you just pick pumpkins, or do you not get pumpkins? Yeah. I don't know. Well, either either way, I'm gonna pick a character that's not that hard because a I've never done it, and I don't know. It looks like very strenuous, but we'll. we'll it's see. fun. Yeah. And we're also gonna um, bake our pumpkin seeds, so we'll show you guys how we do that too. Because I do that every year, and I love pumpkin seeds. Oh. All right, so let's so. let's figure out who we're gonna go carve. Okay, so we just came back from CVS. We found a four-in-one carving tool. <laughs> it looks a little flimsy. <laughs> it does. We're gonna see how it works. I usually just use like my kitchen knives, but I know you're not really supposed to do that. But this was only two forty-nine. We got two of them, and then we just set up with newspaper on the table, and we're gonna get started. We're gonna cut the top off take the guts out, and then we will decide on what characters we're gonna do. I've never used one of these. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Oh, this is like actually so much easier than using like your kitchen knives. Is I it? usually use like a butcher knife, and it like, first of all, that's so dangerous because I can literally like slice my finger off. This is like easy, wow. Got to make sure I'm cutting it in a circle, though. All right, I think we loosened it up enough. Oh. <laughs> Woo, look at all those seeds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I dropped one on the floor. <laughs> okay. Mm, I love the smell of it. Look how thick that is. That's what we just had to cut through. Yeah, that's, that's thick with two seeds. And that's, you have to, you have to cut this out and take everything out. Hmm. That'll be the fun For part. For those of you who have never carved a pumpkin in your life. <laughs> like me. So Matt broke his stem off. Yeah, I tried to pull it out too soon and the, the, whole, the whole stem came right <laughs> off. I sawed it a little bit more to like loosen it up and now I'm just trying to get it with my, with my hands. <laughs> with your bare hands. With my bare hands. You got it. All right, here we go. Whew. And you can always crazy glue your stem back on if you want. That's yeah, okay, here we go. <gasps> Yay. Yay! Look at all those seeds. Let's gut the insides now. Okay, how we doing here? Good. Getting the seeds out. Putting them over here because we're gonna bake them later. Oh yeah. And also like after you get all the seeds out, you have to use a spoon to like scrape it because you only want like the part that you're carving to be like one inch hmm. thick. So you have to take a spoon and like scrape the inside. So as you guys can see, we have gutted the inside of our pumpkins. I think I did a pretty good job for someone who's never done this before. We got all the excess over here. Now we have to figure out what we're gonna carve. Now Alex is over here rinsing off the sunflower seeds. Oh, <laughs> pumpkin seeds, <laughs> excuse me. And then we're gonna bake these after we carve our pumpkin. Just basically trying to get 
any of like the orange stuff off as possible so you can see in the sink we kind of lost a few but we just rinse them and then we'll show you what to do next okay so we finally picked out what we're going to carve on our pumpkin i'm going to do stitch and alex is going to do oogie boogie um you've never done a stencil no i always like look up a picture and freehand it with a sharpie and then cut it out so i guess i'll try this i was just going to draw them on here but well whatever's easier for you I'll try the stencil, but I was just telling Matt, like, you want to do, like, the little details first, so I'm going to do his eyes and his mouth first, and then cut him out, um, because if you cut him out first and then try and do the little details, there's a chance that he might snap and break. Mm, okay. You know, see what I'm saying? Yeah. So you want to do, like, the little details first and then cut him out. So are you going to go stencil or free him? I'm, I'll try the stencil, I guess. Okay, we have to tape him on. Okay. You got the stencil taped on. I'm just gonna make like the details and then take the paper off and cut the rest out. Hmm. So you don't fully carve through the stencil, right? You just kind of poke holes I in it? Yes, I've never done it with the stencil. Hmm. But I, like that's what I'm gonna try and do. I'm nervous. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna mess it up right from the beginning. Well, do what which, I'm doing. Like, just do make like the marks. Well, his ears are the biggest and probably easiest and they're not attached to anything, so. You don't have to worry about it breaking. So maybe do his ears first. Okay, so not bad. I, you can see I carved out the first ear. Well, I didn't carve it out, but I made the, the marks to carve it out. Now I'm gonna probably do his other ear next and then do his face. Got a little bit of an update. Oh yeah, you can see the eyes and like his mouth a little bit. Mm-hmm. You're getting there. And you did the mouth by hand. Yeah, because this one was too like skinny and and like wiggly to do. So yeah. I just freehanded a mouth. But now I'll put this back on and do like that this outline of okay. his head. Oh, there we go. It's taking shape. That's pretty good. Wow. Hopefully it looks good when it's done. Yeah. I think it's coming along. Yeah. Good job. Yeah, he's 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 getting there. Like, it's coming along. Yeah, I did like his little little hair of eyebrow thing. I cut out both of his ears mm -hmm. and his nose. Now I just gotta do these. But these are gonna be tricky because they're like curved. Yeah. Uh, you don't wanna you don't wanna make them too like pointy. Yeah. You know, so it's yeah, but just hard. cut it out, even if it's pointy, then you can use the small, like, part the of small the... small edge to smooth it? To smooth it out, yeah, that's what I've been doing. Yeah, all right, well, we'll keep going. <laughs> so Alex just finished her Oogie Boogie pumpkin. We have, like, electronic candles in it. We're going to take them outside with actual candles afterwards, and we'll see what they look like in the dark. But pretty cool. Really good job. Nice job. Thank you. Now you're finishing mine. <laughs> I'm just, I'm trying to, because these are carved, but see, you're not going to be able to see the light through them, so you have to, like, like, carve, like, more of the inside out. Yeah. <sighs> My wrist is killing me. <laughs> and here is mine all finished. Now, I got to give Alex credit. Alex finished it off and did the mouth, because I was nervous I was going to screw it up, but I did do everything else, and I think it came out pretty good. Not bad for the first time carving a pumpkin. Now we're gonna take both of them outside and put a real candle inside and see what they look like in the dark. All right guys, check out our carved pumpkins, Oogie Boogie and Stitch. It's pretty, pretty cool. I'm pretty proud of us, right? Yeah. They came out good. They came out really good. I thought that I messed mine up in the beginning, but it actually turned out pretty good. And Matt's stitch looks so good for his first pumpkin. It yeah. looks better than mine. No, I don't know. I, your Oogie Boogie's awesome. Like, that's so super cool. <laughs> I like it. your stitch, though, too. Yeah. 
I am the shadow of the moon at night. <laughs> <laughs> really, really cool. All right, now it's raining, so we're getting wet, so we're going back in. Okay, so the last part of the video, we're gonna roast our pumpkin seeds. Um, we already rinsed and drained them in the sink. Now we just put um, aluminum foil on the pan. We're preheating the oven to 250. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna put the pumpkin seeds, spread them all over the pan. It's a lot of seeds. Yeah, we got a lot. Because <laughs> we got two big pumpkins this year. Okay. And then try and just like spread them out as much as you can. If they're overlapping, that's okay. Think that's good? Yeah, looks good. Okay. And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna take either butter or olive oil. Um, we prefer olive oil, so that's what we're gonna use today. And you just kinda, I just kinda drizzle it over them. And then we're gonna use kosher salt and just sprinkle it over the top, just like the olive oil. And then we are going to bake them for 45 minutes on 250 and we'll check them and see how they come out. Okay, so we just took the pumpkin seeds out of the oven. Here they are, you could see they're a little brown on top, nice and crispy. We ended up turning up the heat to 350 because we had it on 250 for 45 minutes and it wasn't cooking like we wanted it to, so you might wanna think about putting the heat up a little bit higher. Hmm. But how do you like them? Pretty good. Yeah? They taste like popcorn. Like a little bit like popcorn. I guess. As weird as that sounds. I think it's because it has like the oil and the butter on it. Yeah. But they're good. They're so good. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap it up for our little Halloween type of video we did. Hope you guys enjoyed the pumpkins. I think they came out pretty cool. Yeah. They look cool. They're really cool, especially with, in the dark with the candles in them. They look awesome. Yeah. I was nervous about how mine was going to come out, but I think I did pretty good for the His first time. so good, yeah. And yours always come out good. You're Aww. like a pumpkin artist. <laughs> Cool. Alright, so if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a nice big thumbs up. It helps us out, lets us know that you're enjoying the videos that we're putting out there. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. We do this all the time and we have a lot of fun Disney videos that are going to be coming up again in the future. And hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of those upcoming videos. And with that, we'll see you guys real soon. Bye! Bye!